Hey friends, Daniel here with the Lead Pages Tech Team bringing you today's tech tip. Selling products or subscriptions via your Lead Pages landing pages or sites is made simple using our checkout feature. During this tech tip, we're going to go over our checkout feature in depth, showcasing how to sell a product and a subscription. Before we dive into the fun, there are a few fine print details I want to go over. While Stripe's testing mode is strictly for their product directly, rather than integrations like Lead Pages, you can still test out your checkout widget within Lead Pages. Shipping costs must be included in the price of the product you sell. We do not provide services for handling tax, shipping, or logistics involved with delivering physical products. The Lead Pages checkout widget is compliant with SCA regulation. Now we do have a great frequently asked questions article that I recommend checking out and you can easily access this by clicking on the question mark and searching checkout and you'll find that article right here. Now that we've gone over those fine print details, let's dive into the fun. As you can see here, I do have a site pulled up that we're going to be selling coffee. The option to purchase just a bag or a subscription. First, we'll want to make sure to have the checkout widget on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. I'm actually going to have two checkout widgets, one here for a single bag purchase and one for a subscription. To add a checkout widget onto my page, all I need to do is access the widgets menu and from the widgets menu, scroll down to find that checkout widget. The checkout widget is currently available with our pro and advanced level subscriptions, which is why it notes pro plus here on its banner. To add the checkout widget onto the page, simply click and hold and start dragging it. As you do so, you're gonna see some blue shaded lines appear which denote where that checkout widget can be placed. Make sure that your mouse is over one of the blue shaded lines before letting go of the widget. Once the widget's been added onto the page, we wanna go ahead and set it up. So we go ahead and click on it to do so. If it's your first time using checkouts, you're gonna be asked here on the left-hand panel to connect your Stripe account. If you don't already have a Stripe account, you can head to dashboard.stripe.com forward slash register to create one. Now I do have our Stripe account already connected as you can see here, which is why I see some different options available. For the checkout widget, you do need to specify a product to sell. More specifically, each checkout must have a product and price. Keep in mind, you must set that product and price in Stripe before you can use it in a checkout. Now you'll notice that we do have quick links to create a product and price in Stripe. And if you click on these, so starting with product, this will take you directly into your Stripe account where you can create that product. And in that product creation, you're going to set a price. Now you'll see here, you give it a name and you can give it a description, set an image that's optional. But of course, if we scroll down here, we do have the ability to set a price. Now the price can be set as recurring or one time. I do already have some products that I'm going to be using created. So let's head back into our lead pages account. In the setup, let's go ahead and select our product. So being that this is just one time, please, I want to make sure to select my coffee beans. And then of course, if I didn't set a price for the coffee beans already product that I created in Stripe, I could access this quick link to set a price or if I'd like to change the price. Now I do have a price set, so I'm going to go ahead and select that now. Once I've selected the product and price, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. Moving forward in the setup, you can set integrations in case you'd like to send the opt-in contact information to an email list or separate integration other than Stripe. You can also set the form fields that you want to collect and additionally customize where folks are sent to after they opt in as noted here along with sending a lead magnet. Now that I have what I want set, I'm going to go ahead and save and close. Now let's talk about setting up a subscription, which is going to be very similar to that product, right? We talked about being able to select recurring. For my checkout widget here, I'm going to go ahead and click on it to access its setup. And in this case, I'm going to select my subscription. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you create a product in Stripe and you're not seeing it listed in your drop-down menu here, 
make sure to refresh. I'm gonna go ahead and select my product, in this case, my coffee subscription, and of course, select its price. Moving forward through the checkout widget setup, I'm going to set my integrations, my form fields, and for this, I do have the ability to enable shipping fields. I do wanna make sure to collect their information so that I can send their subscription to them. And then of course, the thank you page and lead magnet email. As we're talking about subscriptions, when a visitor opts in to your recurring product via lead pages, they will receive a transactional confirmation email from lead pages with a link to manage their subscription. That unique link is where your customers can update their card used for your subscription service, as well as cancel their subscription if they choose. If you would like to send a customized receipt to your customers, you can set this up from within Stripe. As the seller of the subscription, you will receive a transactional confirmation email for each subscription ordered with the buyer's email address, a link to that customer in your Stripe account, and a link to their subscription in Stripe. A quick note, this email is transactional and is not visually customizable. Once you've set up the checkout widget, it's time to test. To test, make sure to do so on the live URL that your page is published to, so what you have after you click publish. Checkout widgets will not function in the builder, as we're in here, nor in preview mode. I really appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me for this tech tip, and don't forget, if you have any questions, our knowledge base and support team are just a click away under the question mark within your Leadpages account.